Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman, and I'm back for another 270 video where I play the mobile game 270. I'll be taking on Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I am playing as RBG, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Arnold has a Mitt Romney Vice President, which unlocks a 38% oil and gas and high-tech bonus, and a 50% gun lobby bonus. Michelle Obama gives us a 30% African American bonus, and bonuses in national groups. I'm going to start off in national groups with the labor and environment, which is my most expensive investment I can make in national groups. And also, it will give me a free cash advantage over Arnold, assuming he goes gun lobby. Um, look for me to also continue with national groups in the women's movement, because women's movement, a 68% bonus is an awesome, awesome bonus. So Arnold decided to go into Virginia, North Carolina, and Georgia. Those are all three African-American states, as well as in the Old South. However, they're also swing states. Look for Arnold to continue with his gun lobby, which will give him just under $150,000, which I expect him to put into Florida and Arizona, possibly even Maryland or Louisiana to get multiple pathways for his next bonus. Um, we are going to complete women's movement and we are not going to go after youth vote. Instead, we are going to pressure Virginia. We're going to see if he is going to go straight for that swing state bonus or is he going to forego that and expand. This is really the first test Arnold has and I can use that information later in the match. Now we're going to complete our women's movement and I think I'm going to delay going after him in Florida or opening up in youth vote. Instead, we're going to contest him in Arizona, which is African-American and swing, and Georgia, which is African-American, Old South, and swing. So again, we are going to see what Arnold does. He might even get a bonus or two in the early game, but if we're able to make the right steals, we will have a great chance to win this game of 270. If you like to watch 270 videos and hear commentary, please like this video, show some support, and join the 270 family. Subscribe, help us reach 5K before election day. Turn number four is here, and now I have to assess the map. Arnold really has bonuses that play well out of the state of California. If I'm able to beat him there, there's a good chance I could win. There's also a decent chance that he could spend over in California this turn, although it would only be for one pip. I could go in California and force him to play out of New York and Florida for African American Old South and Swing. However, I think that I have a good feel on what Arnold is going to do, and I also have a cash advantage, so I'm going to still chase him in the states he has spent, including one pip into Florida and one pip into Maryland. Maryland is key and underrated because it's also a high tech state. So now that I have access to Virginia and Maryland, if he does go into California, instead of going in, into California automatically, another alternative could be to chase him in those smaller states. As I look at the bonuses, he needs to have $330,000 of spending in AA to unlock the African American bonus and he is not quite there, assuming that he goes up in Louisiana and Mississippi. So finally, we can complete our youth vote, which leaves us $485,000 of spending on turn number five. We need to get into some more AA states, including Mississippi and Alabama. He's not yet in South Carolina. I'm not in North Carolina yet, so let's get into the Tar Heel State, and that leaves me $347,000 of free cash. Now, I'm going to target Georgia because Georgia is, again, African American, Old South, and Swing. And then if I keep my 150, that allows me to, without national group consideration, have more than $400,000 on the next turn with my rollover cash. Plus, I will have a few other monies coming in from my labor and environment and my women's movement and youth vote bonuses. Here's my youth vote completion, and that will unlock about $28,000 for RBG. So every single turn, I'm getting $62,000 from women's, 
over $70,000 in labor environment and $28,000 from the youth vote. So again, that's 577 compared to 616 for Arnold. Arnold will likely um, use his old South money to either attack me in Georgia, defend in Virginia or Maryland, or go up in South Carolina or Arkansas. Now, I am deciding to not go into California this turn, and instead I'm going to attack him in Old South and try to flip that bonus blue. Um, the total cost of Maryland is 35, 32 and a half for South Carolina, 37 and a half for Georgia and 20 in Mississippi. If you add all of those up, that's $125,000. That would give me exactly the bonus. So not only would Arnold lose 50K, but then I would get a small bonus back, almost like an 80K um, flip. Now, Arnold did go into California. He waited until he could double pip. The problem with Arnold going into California as a strategic standpoint from his perspective is if he goes up to the third pip on the next turn, he's not even going to get a bonus. That's a lot of money invested in a state that does not give you a bonus. Sure, he could go up in Colorado, New Mexico, keep Louisiana and get another state and go for oil and gas, which he could use for Texas. He could try to flip Maryland back and go into Pennsylvania or a state like Michigan and Connecticut and try to unlock the high-tech bonus. But again, he only has $440,000. So I think it's more likely for him to maybe defend Florida as a offense by defense. I hope I go for it. I could see him trying to flip back the old South, but more likely what most players would do from a new player perspective is in this position, go for Texas. I don't think it's worth me investing into Texas at this point because the best I'd be hoping for is a clash. And then I'm doing the exact same thing that um, Arnold is doing. That's chasing big States for really no reason. Instead, what I'm going to do is just use my old South bonus funds in the state of South Carolina. I'm going to risk losing the small bonus, and I'm going to use my free cash to enter into California. This will allow me to put pressure there, and if he doesn't spend, which he chooses not to, I can automatically flip California on the next turn should I decide that's the best move for me. I may not get a bonus, but because now he has invested so much money into Texas and California, you know something has to give. If he if nothing else happens, he would have Latino, ag, oil and gas export, so many different bonuses. The problem is he doesn't have four hundred thousand dollars to go up in both California and in Texas and defend Florida. But now we have pressure in California, so. What I need to decide is how much money do I want to invest in California? Now, if I was playing against a really, really skilled player, I might go to the third pip here because that's the opposite of what a skilled person should do, almost like playing mind games. But because I have the cash advantage and him going up in California would do him no good, I have decided to just go up in Pennsylvania which gives me the option to flip Maryland and keep Virginia, go up in California and get high tech next turn. Um, I also wanted to see what Arnold would do. And he has decided to pivot to the oil and gas bonus. Now, the good thing from Arnold in this position is that he can go up in Texas uncontested and he would get oil and gas if we don't flip Louisiana. He would also get manufacturing if we do not flip North Carolina. He has a free shot at Illinois. We're not in Illinois yet. And so we have to prioritize, are we going to do offense on this turn or defense? By going for California, Maryland, Virginia, and Pennsylvania, that would unlock the high-tech bonus, which is a really good bonus for RBG to have in this game. However, why not do both? I can enter into Colorado, New Mexico, Oklahoma, West Virginia, and if I go for Louisiana, that will steal or prevent the 
oil and gas bonus. Now, oil and gas is not a strong bonus for RBG, just like the Old South isn't. I wanted to make sure I had enough money in North Carolina. I also want to make sure I have enough money to make sure I steal Virginia. Thankfully, I do have enough to have both. However, I did not feel completely comfortable just going one pip in both Louisiana and in North Carolina. And so I'm going to prioritize stealing North Carolina. And if I have to give up oil and gas for one turn, I'm completely okay, especially because I don't have the confidence that Arnold is going to spread out in oil and gas. And we will have to just flip one oil and gas state to make sure that we steal the oil and gas bonus back from him on turn number 10. So I hope that made sense. That's just the way my brain works. But turn nine, there is the $120,000 high tech bonus and a really strong oil and gas bonus for Arnold, $103,000. That can be used in only the oil and gas states, but that includes both California and Texas. So I have the high tech money to kind of counteract that. However, he only has $395,000, so it's not mathematically impossible for him to overtake me unless he really, really low spends and saves up some of his money. I've decided to open up into Michigan. It's African-American. It's high tech. It's also a swing state. Super important. And I'm going to lock Virginia. For the moment, I'm going to leave Maryland, but I also want to take some shots at oil and gas. So all the states that I have uncontested from Alaska all the way down to Wyoming, I'm going to just go to the third pip. And then New Mexico, I might just leave that and enter into Illinois because I took a shot at Oklahoma, West Virginia, and Louisiana. I only need one of those to flip in order for me to steal oil and gas away from Arnold and for RBG. So here's the turn. We're spending significantly more Arnold is going up in Connecticut. He lets us have Louisiana. So there is the oil and gas bonus. It also gives us another African-American state. So if we are able to flip Florida with Michigan and keeping the rest of the old South states, I could maybe even go for Arizona. I could have African-American soon. He did not spend in Virginia. However, he did spend in Washington. So I don't understand his strategy. He's kind of going for the uh, high-tech bonus, even though we have that. He is going to give himself a free path to keep manufacturing with Ohio. Um, however, no, we did. We, we actually pressured Illinois. So we could uh, flip Illinois and keep North Carolina, and that would take away manufacturing. He is not in Pennsylvania yet. We still have um, a little bit of oil, so let's go up to the fourth pip in Colorado. Again, I don't think he's going to make an all-out push for it, but we might as well take the lead there. I still have $37,000 of Old South money. I could put that into Louisiana. Um, I could go for Florida on this turn, which I actually think he probably doesn't defend it. He might try to one-pit me in North Carolina. Um, go for some clashes in Illinois and maybe save up some money in California. Um, he could go New York, but New York doesn't really give him much other than potentially Town and Gown and Latino later on in the game. But by that point, we would use our bonus funds to spread out across the map and have way more EVs than he could ever catch up with, and we would win the game. There is a zero spend. Let's see. Get a timer went away. Use that's a... Um, full tail sign that he has forfeited. And if that's the case, we would be the victor. The game has to go past eight turns in order for it to be considered a full complete match. So good game to my opponent. There's the African-American and swing state bonus just by flipping Florida. We easily would have gotten New York and probably won with anywhere from 360 EVs to 420 EVs if he'd played it out Um honorably. Again, there's nothing wrong with hitting the forfeit button, um, but I've played so many games. It was definitely, definitely over. So that's game number one. We are going to roll into another game. This game with Bernie 2024 taking on M.S. Shoulder Abraham Lincoln. 
I played this opponent recently on a stream, and it was a good game. Um, Abraham Lincoln is a fantastic candidate inside the game, but Bernie Sanders 2024, Abe, you're going to feel the burn with this uh, youth vote. So 75% youth vote with a Barack Obama vice president, as well as an inflated towning gown bonus. Bernie, of course, plays a little bit better out of Texas than most Democrats with the manufacturing bonus, but most of his bonuses are aligned with the Democratic Party when it comes to education, town and gown, high tech, Latino, and African American. So on this, uh, this turn, we are going to complete our youth vote by going up to the magical pip. It's going to unlock free cash the rest of the game in that 70 uh, plus percent for youth vote. And then we are going to open up in classic Old South with Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, and Louisiana. A lot of players have decided to switch from Maryland to Georgia just because of the swing state ramifications. But when money gets a little bit tight because I've made an investment in national groups, sometimes I just prefer to have the most efficient route, knowing that my opponent can block it and that I would have to adjust anyway. It just depends on how you guys like to play, if you like to be, um, how, how often you wanna change it up so you're not being too predictable. That's something I stride myself in doing. Um, I usually try to take notes if I'm playing against a highly competitive person. Um, I've really stopped playing competitively in the lounge where I used to track all of my games on a spreadsheet, but I've gotten to the point where I just play for fun. I do like to win. I do like to make YouTube videos, but if I lose, again, it's just another game. So if you find yourself stressed out playing 270, take a deep breath. It's okay. You can always play another game even if you lose. So on this turn, we are going to open up into Arizona, Georgia, and Florida. So now we are going after the swing state bonuses while Abraham Lincoln is going to find a different path. He is not on the board yet. He is spending $300,000. Is that going to be in a national group? Yes, so there's gun lobby. So gun lobby will give him his second national group in addition to big conservative. So we actually have a slight cash disadvantage and we have to spend our money in the Old South. Yet we have an uncontested route at swing states. And so next turn, we'll get the cash bonus back again. And now we can open into South Carolina, have just over $1,000 left. And that bonus money we can put in South Carolina, let's say if we are pressured into a state like Virginia. Instead, Abraham Lincoln has decided to go California, which I'm kind of glad he did because let's talk about that for a second. California and New York has been the meta strategy for about a month and a half, ever since, maybe even two months, ever since the update where California was added into the town and gown. But now when you remove town and gown, it puts uh, New York right back into the forefront as a, a plausible opening strategy in 270. Do I think it's the most efficient route? Probably not, but you can go from a town and gown directly to high tech, and if you're able to get Latino, then the game really starts to open up. It's that really spot where you get stuck when you have just California, just New York, and all that you have is high tech. That's where... You know, you have to choose, are you going Latino? Are you going after Texas? Are you going after Florida? And you cannot waste money because you've already spent so much money going after the big two states. Um, turn number five, we are going to spread out. We're gonna have a clash in Mississippi. We did get into Illinois uncontested and Lincoln is doing a phenomenal job of getting into my states by single pipping, including North Carolina and Virginia, which is going to force me to defend slightly, to defend um, you know, more than I should, or to spread out. Now, I'm entering into Michigan. I'm also going up in Nevada, as well as defending in Arizona. I'm gonna go up in Alabama, in South Carolina, and in Mississippi. So 
This will potentially give me the African-American bonus. At the last second, I decided to defend in North Carolina by a couple pips, and we are still saving $300,000. Abraham Lincoln is only spending $367,000, 200 of which are in California. So it's turn number six. We're going to have not only the Old South bonus, but the African-American bonus and the Swing State bonus while our opponent has to make a decision, what do I do in uh, not only New York, now that I have African-American, but what am I going to do in Texas? Every single uh, state that I just saw highlighted there is a state that Abraham Lincoln has also entered in that I own. You can tap on Abraham Lincoln, and it will show you by highlighting which states he has access to. Again, it's super important to know where you are in the game, how close you are to a ballot, and where your opponent is or is not, because your strategic decisions come off of information from that. Arizona was spent in and locked. We spent $518,000 compared to Lincoln's four forty, dollars who double pips me in both Georgia and Michigan. Um, Georgia, he goes past. Michigan, he does too, but not quite to the third pip threshold, and then we do have a one pip clash in Texas. Now, you could argue that that is not as beneficial as it could have been because Abraham Lincoln does have direct access now to Texas, California, and New York, but I was kind of expecting that, um, and so that extra cash that I saved, I can now roll that into Texas if I want to, I could also go up in Georgia. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter into New York as well. I'm going to save $361,000. And Abraham Lincoln is only, only winning in four states. Georgia is locked. So we did invest our bonus money in that state. However, our opponent decided to lock it. That money is gone. Basically just lit it on fire, but that's okay. However, the frustrating one for me is that Virginia flips. I love Virginia and the high-tech money and the Old South and African-American that it brings, but we don't need it to get swing states. Swing states is accured, is accured. Swing states is accumulated and brought back by my successful defense of Nevada, Arizona, Michigan, and North Carolina to go along with Florida. I can now single or double pip in open states, as well as get to the third pip, the all-important pip in Texas. Now that I have Michigan and North Carolina, Florida, and Illinois, that will give me manufacturing. It will also give me agriculture, assuming that nothing else flips. Illinois holds, so if I get uh, North Carolina, which I do, that is manufacturing and ag. Lincoln has a big spend in New York, and we do go up to Texas to the third pip. We now have an electoral advantage, 218 EVs. We also have six of the 10 uh, state groups. Abraham Lincoln has just over 600,000. And now we can go up in New Jersey, Colorado, New Mexico. And if we keep Illinois, which we can quickly do the math, 600,000 minus the old south minus the high tech, and that will give us just not enough to flip or lose Illinois. We can go up in Wisconsin and Ohio, and we did not spend our $100,000 in oil and gas money. I said oil and gas money. I meant Old South money. Sorry, North Carolina flips. That is quite unfortunate. I probably could have seen that one coming. However, because we are going to keep Illinois and Michigan, that will keep the manufacturing bonus. We do clash, or not clash, we have conflict in Wisconsin. So ag is going to go away, but if we can get ag, that will take the swing state money back into our column. Actually a pretty good turn by Lincoln there. Lincoln decided to make it a risky spend, and if we would have defended North Carolina... That probably would have been the game. 
What I'm going to do is spend my AA money and Old South money in Tennessee and Alabama. I'm also going to open up in the Tennessee and make a play for Wisconsin. The addition of Pennsylvania in swing states should allow me to get that bonus. We have $495,000 of spending from Abraham Lincoln, $528,000 from Bernie, but no, come on, I've got, got to lock my states. Abraham Lincoln steals Michigan from Bernie 2024. So he's going for these bold steals. Back-to-back -back times, they work. What is that showing your opponent? It's showing him that those big steals can work, and he's probably going to keep doing it. So I need to adjust. There is ag. There is the swing state bonus. Now I need to defend in Florida because Florida would flip African-American his way and also take away the ag bonus. I'm going to go up in New Hampshire, and I still have $878,000 of money to spend. Pretty, pretty crazy. So Colorado is entered into by Lincoln. No money spent in Florida. And Maryland is spent into. He's still not in New Hampshire. New York he is still defending, and Pennsylvania. So again, we're up to 230 EVs, and it's not hard to see that if we can fill in a lot of these white open states and we can pencil them in blue, we are going to easily have more than the 270 electorals needed to clinch the White House. I can defend Colorado as well as go up in um, North Dakota. Florida, I can easily spend... Pennsylvania, let's just go one pip, and New Jersey, we're going to go like to the sixth pip. So that gives me a little bit of options, assuming I keep New Mexico and Colorado, to get the Latino bonus. Again, he's overspending, as am I. Louisiana's not locked, but it came pretty close. And New Mexico is not entered into, so there he goes. And Tennessee is up to the fourth pip. So we can lose like an African-American state, like a South Carolina. And with Tennessee, we will still get the bonus. There is oil and gas in African-American back. New Mexico, we can lock. And then let's enter into South Dakota, Wyoming, West Virginia, I could also enter Delaware and Pennsylvania. I don't know. Pretty crazy. What's, what is um, my opponent here? What is Abe Lincoln going to do? He should probably find the forfeit button. He spends $400,000 in California, which means he has 70 coming. That's likely two pips of 35. Is he in New Jersey yet? No, but it looks like he spends in Wisconsin. So Abe only has three bonuses. We have over $2 million in funds. Let's go up in Wisconsin. We're going to go to the eighth pip. Minnesota and other white states are yet to be entered into. Abraham Lincoln only has 480000 so we can pretty much just go wherever we want to, including the third pip in Ohio. We're going to do D.C., and we are going to end. And let's see what happens here on turn 15. So skipping ahead, we're down to 244. There is the agriculture bonus. Look at Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania flipped. Wisconsin, we need to go ahead and defend that now. And as we have 30 seconds here on turn 16, we have $2.5 million of total cash. We can go ahead and lock New York, which I typically don't recommend as a strategy, as a general consensus, but in this game, I have no problem with it. And then states like West Virginia, Kentucky, let's go ahead and enter in those bad boys.
All right. So turn 16 is here. More defense in California. Again, he is hoping that I will go all out for California, which I'm not going to. I have all this bonus money, and I still continue to uh, rack up the electoral votes. Now I can go into Alaska, flip Oregon, go into Idaho, Hawaii, um, Utah, Montana, Minnesota, Wyoming, South Dakota. We have Kansas, Nebraska, Arkansas. Then we also have um, the northeastern states of Delaware, Connecticut, D.C., Rhode Island, Maine, and Vermont. A lot of states up there, especially with town and gown states. And we're going to lock South Carolina. And that should get us close, if not all the way there to a ballot. We're looking to see if we can avoid conflict. No conflict. Yes, ballot round. Very good. So this is the last game. Whoever wins this uh, turn will win the match. And I can click on... Abraham Lincoln and just see that I need to defend a few states, including Oklahoma, Ohio, and Louisiana. Mississippi, Maryland, and Massachusetts are the three states he could come at me from. I'm also going to defend Kentucky and or another state like a Utah. And do, 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 do. here we go. Turn 18, the ballot round. A lock of Florida. A lock of Louisiana. Massachusetts decides to flip back red. Missouri gets to stay blue. New Jersey is red and stays red. I went for it. Ohio is going to stay blue. Oklahoma leans Bernie Sanders 2024. Oregon locks. Tennessee defense. Good game to my opponent. Thank you for so much for watching. This has been another 270 video. Keep those video recommendations coming on the YouTube comments or in the Discord channel. And until next time, this is Brendan Borman. Thanks for watching another 270 video.